peripheral venous duplex technique how to do peripheral venous duplex technique how to do it's our subject in this lectures what's mean by duplex triplex ultrasound it's mean three things p mode imaging doppler ultrasound include color doppler ultrasound spectrum doppler ultrasound this what's called triplex ultrasound Color Doppler ultrasound technique which you use color visualizations of vessels and the blood flow. Spectrum Doppler spectral ultrasound. We use spectrum in evaluations of blood vessels. Growing to ankle protocol suspected cases of DVT of lower limb starting from groin common femoral vein, saphenofemoral junction, superficial femoral vein, great saphenous vein, psi, psi perforators, great saphenous vein, leg, leg perforators, popliteal vein, soleus vein, posterior tibial vein, anterior tibial vein, peroneal vein, ankle perforator, short saphenous vein, saphenopopliteal reflux, change transducer, then examine external iliac vein above, internal iliac vein, common iliac vein, IVC. Ankle to groin protocol in cases of venous ulcer of lower limb. Ankle of groin protocol will start down from below, from ankle. Start by posterior tibial vein, anterior tibial vein, peroneal vein, ankle perforators, soleus veins, popliteal vein, short saphenous vein, Saphenopopliteal reflux, leg perforators, great saphenous vein leg, great saphenous vein psi, psi perforators, superficial femoral vein, common femoral vein. We start in this venous ulcer search low by ankle vasculatures because it's most common cause it's ankle perforators incompetence, which involving information of venous ulcers. The vein first identified in transverse plane. The transducer turned sagittally to evaluate for venous reflux. A representative Doppler spectral waveform was obtained and recorded. Examination continues to be the next vein segment as listed above. Each vein tested for reflux in the proximal mid distal vein segment as well as adjunction of large branches or perforator veins. Leg paint at the knee rotated outward best exposure for femoral vein and the popliteal fossa. Examine popliteal and leg vein. Leg allowed to hang at each of the bed with the probe positioned in the popliteal fossa. Doppler character of normal vein. Vein in comparison to artery have seen wall while artery seat walled, vein oval shaped while artery rounded, vein compressible while artery non compressible, vein may transmit pulsations, artery pulsatile, vein changes with valsalva, artery no change with valsalva, vein may transmit pulsations, sometimes you find. Venous wave, venous flow, pulsatile. But as most of cases, it is continuous wave, continuous flow in the vein while artery pulsatile. So, character of vein flow, spontaneous flow, basic flow, valsalva response, augmentation, unidirectional flow, compressibility of veins. We discuss this six physical properties of venous flow in the next spontaneous flow. What we mean? What mean venous flow is spontaneous, continuous without augmentation. Continuous flow, as we see, flow is continuous, not interrupted. Without augmentation, is continuous flow. This is normal appearance of venous flow. Phasic flow, what we mean? We mean venous flow 
mean velocity of fluid change in response to quiet respirations. Mean velocity of fluid change in response to inspiration and expiration. This is represented either in color or spectral mode. Respiratory variation during inspiration, contraction of the diaphragm increases the intra-abdominal pressure, which decreases venous return. Whereas during expiration, venous return is promoted. Cardiac cycle beating heart causes high frequency and low amplitude oscillation in the IC, IVC spectral waveform. So during inspiration, venous flow decreases. During expiration, venous return promoted. The spectrum represents what's called physicity, physic venous flow. Proximal venous flow, flow affected by respiratory and the cardiac cycle. Flow is promoted during expiration and decreases during inspiration because increased intra-abdominal pressure. It's continuous but phasic. Change in velocity in degree during respiratory cycle. In, in inspiration, in decreases flow expiration flow increased promoted this is examples of what's called basic venous flow this flow increase in expiration decrease in inspiration and this is represented by spectrum and also by color in expiration color appear well full vein full with blood with flow with color during inspiration this is color may be weak or absent this is physicity flow change with inspiration spectrum rapid venous flow according to the rapid cardiac cycle physicity appears this is expiration increase venous flow and inspiration flow either decrease or reverse it. Slow venous flow affected by respiratory cycles. Weak slow respiratory cardiac cycle. In apnea, continuous flow without change in velocity or in, without wave change. This is because patient apneic no respiratory variation. Physicity flow change with inspiration by color Doppler imaging. Normal proximal veins with transverse longitudinal flow, they are completely color saturated during expiration and partially desaturated during inspiration. Transient retrograde flow may observe it during inspiratory variation. This is video represent basic flow basic venous flow we see this is fully color saturated as this physic flow with spectrum venous flow velocity increase with expiration decrease with expirations as we see we listen to cardiac pulsations this by Color also demonstrate saturated desaturations of color superficial femoral vein during expiration color saturated during inspiration desaturated normal venous flow is physical with respirations increase venous flow in expiration decrease in inspirations Examples of phasic flow, normal phasic variation of venous flow, superficial femoral vein during respiratory variation, increase in expiration, decrease in inspiration. This is spectrum analysis, normal common femoral vein with respiratory variation of the phasic flow, physicity. Respiratory modulation of the venous flow, physicity, caused by abdominal pressure variation, which increase in inspiration, causes decrease or absence or retrograde flow in venous normal physic venous flow by color during expiration 
veins fully saturated with color appear full with blood superficial femoral vein deep femoral vein bifurcation of common femoral during inspiration desaturations of the venous flow desaturated with color so absence of color may be retrograde decreased or absent during inspiration this is physicity flow change with respiration this is all the examples other physicists change of common femoral vein this is a femoral vein continuous wave no physicity changes what is mean main occluded iliac vein with loss of physicity occluded iliac vein means that intra-abdominal pressure variation not transmitted to femoral vein so wave is continuous this is in partial occlusion of iliac vein partial occluded iliac vein not completely occluded if completely occluded we don't find any wave any flow in the femoral vein so continuous femoral flow may impress occluded iliac femoral vein with loss of physicity Valsalva maneuver, this is third physical appearance of venous flow. What we mean? When we take deep breath strain, while holding breath patency of venous system, from point of examination to thorax, patency of venous system, from point of examination to the thorax, indicates increased intra-abdominal pressure by Valsalva, cause quisition and stasis of venous flow, dilatation of the veins, venous dilatation and stasis occurs during normal valsalva maneuver. Abnormal response. We talk first about normal response. When we do valsalva maneuver by deep breath or strain while holding a breath, we increase intra-abdominal pressure, causing quisition stasis of the venous flow and the dilatation, which Impress indicate that there is patency of venous system from point of examination to the thorax. This is another test to indicate patency of the venous system other than basic venous flow. Normal valsalva maneuver impress patency of venous system from point of examination to thorax. Abnormal response of valsalva maneuver only with a substantial venous obstruction normally if partially occluded venous flow so when venous flow is positive when we do the breeze and the strain while holding a breeze and we found outside of examination if we put probe in the common femoral superficial femoral vein any sites in the means of lower limb and ask a patient to deep breeze and we found venous dilatation, stasis of flow, or quisition of flow, color desaturation. This means what is positive, normal valsalva response. This is indicate what? Indicate patency of venous system from point of examination in the lower limb to the thorax, to the heart. What's mean abnormal response of valsalva response? Means venous, substantial venous obstruction in iliac veins in IVC so it change in intra-abdominal pressure not transmitted down to femoral vein popliteal or veins of lower limb valsalva maneuver may be present normally with obstruction if this obstruction partially occluded as we found in continuous loss of physicity of veins this is during rest artery vein during valsalva maneuver we found vein dilatations and the stasis of venous flow and maybe color desaturations or absent. This is normal valsalva maneuver with spectrum. This is spectrum venous flow, physicity, increase in expiration, decrease in expiration. Ask a patient to take deep breaths to test of valsalva response. We found the quisition of flow. This area of color desaturations, quisition of flow, absence of spectrum. This is normal valsalva response. This means that is the patency of venous system from point of examination in the lower limb to the thorax. This is valsalva response. Normally, we found the start of valsalva and the end of valsalva committent vein. No reflux. There is completely completely of flow. 
This is examples of color response on Falzalva maneuvers. This is normal examination, common femoral vein, color saturated. Ask patient, this during rest, ask patient to take deep breath, a Valsalva maneuver. We found what dilatation of veins, stasis of flow, color desaturation. This is normal response of Valsalva maneuver. This means patency from point of examination of common femoral to the thorax. This is another example, same image before of positive normal Valsalva response. This is spectrum demonstrates normal Valsalva response. This physic normal flow, venous flow, ask patient to dig deep breath for Valsalva. We found the causation of flow, absence of a spectrum, and this is impress normal response of Valsalva maneuvers. This is incompetence, as we found this is incompetence in this image of Safino femoral junction. Sometimes when we ask a patient to take deep breaths for Valsalva response, we don't find acquisition or stop of flow. We found what retrograde flow, retrograde venous flow. That's mean incompetency. There is problem in the reflux of area examined. Problem of the valve. Safino femoral junction. Ask a patient to do Valsalva. We found reversed flow in breast reflux during Valsalva maneuver. So, Valsalva maneuver in breast, two things. Competency, reflux, absent or breast of venous flow, and the patency of the venous flow. Augmentation, third, fourth physical character of the vein. Augmentation means patency of vein between site of compression and site of examination. Compression site also distant or down below site of examination. Variety, weak or delayed augmentation means obstruction distal or down to site of examination. Weak or delayed augmentation means obstruction distal or down to site of examination mean obstruction between site of compression and site of examination. Augmentation weak or circumvented by collaterals Absence of augmentation denote substantial obstruction at distal to point of examination. Normal augmentation mean may present low vein partially blocked. So normal augmentation not always patency or absence of obstruction may be present normal of vein partially blocked. This is normal distal augmentation response. We do examination at this site at like superficial femoral vein long cephalous vein and we do compression by hand distal down to the side we compress in the veins we found what we found sudden rising of venous flow color saturation this is mean positive augmentation response normal augmentation response mean patency of area between site of examination and site of compression this is abnormal distal augmentation response. We found and then augmentation as we found, augmented flow, sudden rising of flow, then reversed flow. This is inside of reflux. Area of reflux is present between site of compression and site of examination. So abnormal augmentation may present in blocked DVT or reflux, like abnormal augmentation as we took before. This is demonstrates, video demonstrate lower superficial femoral vein augmented by flow compression below knee. We put probe in superficial femoral vein and we do compression below knee. This is done at superficial femoral vein at lower side and we put compression by hand below knee. What we found? We found normal augmentation, sudden rising of the venous flow. This is what's called normal augmentation, sudden color saturations. Compression distal below knee, we augment the flow in superficial femoral vein like this. 
This is augmented flow in the popliteal vein, committant vein. We saw found augmented flow after augmentation, after compression side distal blue popliteal veins. We do compression and on the cuff, we found sudden rising of the flow, then valve closed. If we found the retrograde flow or continuous flow, this means reflux incomitant valve. Venous reflux. We augment augmentation or valsalva. We found sudden rising of flow. Normally, absent of flow or a stop of flow at this side before because valve closed. But we found a reversed flow continuous. This is reflux. This abnormal response to augmentation or valve alpha. The reflux significant more than two seconds. This is color representation, color flow, what's called augmentation. This is image saphenobobletial junction flow in short saphenous vein coming to junction unit with popliteal vein towards the heart during augmentation. During a squeeze, a release is a significant retrograde flow. This is during augmentation, normal response. When we squeeze, we release augmentation. When we remove the hand away from the limb, what is must to do? No flow because valve closed. But we found what we found significant retrograde flow in the short saphenous vein and the popliteal vein above saphenu popliteal junction due to saphenu popliteal junction incompetence. No retrograde flow in the popliteal vein below saphenu popliteal junction indicate popliteal vein competency, but incompetency in the saphenu popliteal junction. This is a rapid important trace of the venous flow can be caused by a short vigorous compression of the calf, which impress normal patency. This is normal femoral vein augmentation by calf compression. Femoral vein reflux with valsalva or augmentation. This is normal, this is abnormal. Repeated compression of the calf only decreases the effect of compression, which gives a limited rise of flow. This is important point. This is tips, tricks. Don't repeat augmentation, don't repeat compression, because this is weak effect, decrease effect of compression, which gives a limited rise of the flow. Fifth characters of the venous flow, unidirectional flow. Unidirectional flow would mean a retrograde flow mean valvular incompetence, which diagnosed by demonstration of retrograde flow with valsalva maneuver, Manual compression proximal above or side of the duplex examinations. Unidirectional flow. Flow in the vein is continuous toward the heart. May be a retrograde in case of incompetence, valve problems in the veins. This demonstrated by retrograde flow with valsalva maneuver or augmentations. Augmentation now is proximal to site of examination, not distal. Compressibility of veins is six characters. Normal vein completely compressible. Breathe hard enough not just to indent the artery, not compress artery. Compression ultrasound. When we compress veins, it's cohabitated both wall to each others. This is normal response external compression on the vein and this is indicate patency absence of deep venous thrombosis vein is compressible as we see this is a common femoral vein when we compress we found completely collapse this is normal characters of the veins this is clued signs essential sign to exclude deep venous thrombosis compressibility incompressible in case of dvt Peripheral venous duplex normal sonographic appearance. Tips and the tricks to examine leg. Decrease gray scale, decrease frequency, increase dips as you go down, obese change to curved probe, 
sit with legs over bed stand up valsalva hummingbird doppler study an obese patient ask a patient to stand if possible to increase venous filling sitting with legs dangling over edge of the bed in another good way to improve your view of the segment venous examination criteria include patency diameter reflux wall abnormality doppler waveform and respiratory variation thrombus echogenicity and recanalization process normal veins normal sonographic vein appearance and echoic compressible in b mode this is normal unidirectional flow with color flow image probability vein this transverse gray scale normal superficial femoral vein and vein not compressed normal superficial femoral vein and after compression collapse of this vein this is normal appearance normal common femoral vein in psi femoral vein dip to the femoral artery vein totally collapsed totally collapsed by transversal and transverse position this normal normal common femoral vein femoral vein common femoral superficial femoral dip to femoral artery in the side in collapse we found completely collapse by pressure normal femoral vein this normal femoral vein low level echo sometimes normally be detected in case of lower extremity venous stasis or when mixing of blood occur in larger veins ivc and the hepatic vein low level echoes not indicate not mean dvt sometimes seen in lower extremity venous stasis venous valve all veins of superficial and the deep system contain valves ivc sometimes iliac vein are exceptions this valve promote unidirectional flow towards the heart and the prevent retrograde flow this is not normal vein and this is deep vein one way flow from superficial femoral vein to the valve this is a muscle sheath normal veins abnormal veins meaning reflux of blood from deep veins down to superficial femoral vein or down in the same deep veins causing varicosity two cusp of valve clearly seen not seen in every case we need high resolution ultrasound machine to see valve clearly it's uncommon to see venous valve stasis of blood evidence on the valve cusp in this image this is normal venous valve open allow blood to flow in one direction towards the heart Valve cusp from the saphenous vein normally opens to allow blood to go from superficial vein to deep veins. Normal venous flow in closed positions prevent reflux of blood down in the leg from opposite direction away to the heart. Venous flow valve closure during valsalva normally to prevent the reflux of blood in opposite direction down in the leg in the side. Greater saphenous vein valve closure during valsalva prevent greater saphenofemoral junction reflux. This is great saphenous vein committant by will healthy closed valve. Color Doppler imaging normal proximal veins with transverse longitudinal view completely color saturated during expiration common femoral vein superficial femoral vein popliteal vein and the partially desaturated during inspiration transient retrograde flow may be observed during respiratory variation convergence of superficial femoral profunda femoris arising with excellent visualization of blood flow during expiration normal vein transmitted superficial femoral artery versation seen this is longitudinal view normal common femoral vein received the blood from longosaphenous vein and they found circumflex vein one tributaries this is we found common femoral vein divided 
or formed by superficial and profound femoral vein completely color saturated normal appearance leg cuff veins normal cuff vein not completely color saturated a maneuver such as standing muscle compression and the valsalva or its equivalent equivalent to valsalva cuff abdominal compression necessary to detect them so sometimes cuff vein normally not seen not seen color saturated not seen with spectrum not spontaneously color saturated sometimes we need something a promote flow such as standing muscle compression or valsalva or equivalent to valsalva something increase intra-abdominal pressure or ascription to cough or abdominal compression by hand this necessary some time to detect normal calf vein and to judge it is patent fully saturated by color this diagram represents anterior tibial posterior tibial veins and peroneal veins sites peroneal vein and posterior tibial vein posteriorly posterior tibial vein posteromedially peroneal veins posterolaterally anterior tibial vein anteromedially this is diagram representation paired cuff veins cuff vein may be paired or sometimes replicated at mid cuff cuff vein with patient leg hanging from side of examination table side of this is position of examination of cuff veins patient leg hanging from side of examination of table evaluation of cuff may proceed with the patient in erect where patient interaction mobilization of lower extremity impossible and the manual compression of obliterial fossa required this bushral maneuver are useful to increase feeling of cuff vein in order to facilitate their detection we talked before that cuff vein normally not spontaneously saturated so we need to promote increased feeling of cuff vein but this bushral maneuver such as standing erect position leg hanging on the table in the other hand this will result in an increase of the venous pressure therefore increasing amount of compression necessary to ensure complete venous collapse posterior cuff vein posterior tibial and the peroneal vein are best examined some sequential transverse view during a posteromedial approach each pair of vein located adjacent to the representative respective artery Always we took that deep veins accompanying by artery. Bare the posterior tibial vein are adjacent to the an echogenic line corresponding to the tibia. Bare the peroneal vein are adjacent to a similar line corresponding to the fibula. Posterior tibial adjacent to tibia medially, posteromedially, peroneal vein adjacent to fibia posterolaterally. The posterior tibial vein can be visualized down to a level of the medial malleolus. Origin of the peroneal vein around level of junction between the middle and distal third of the calf. It's broadened to obtain transverse image where all four posterior calf veins present to avoid overlooking any of them. Multiple view is following compression difficult because of adjacent. This is examples of Beard, as we found, this is beard posterior tibial vein. This is from posteromedial approach. This is examples of one of the posterior tibial vein during augmentation. This is augmentation help to confirm location of the vein and suggest patency. This is color flow image demonstrate show posterior tibial vein patency, which laying on either side. Of the posterior tibial artery. Posterior tibial vein bird who found it posterior medially and the peroneal vein in the same view which you found it laterally bird peroneal vein also. This is transverse image through aspect of the mid upper calf to demonstrate position of soleus muscle and soleus vein. This is we found just through this is muscular fascia this is soleus muscle and this is soleus vein in the soleus muscles and we found this is muscular fascia deep to its soleus muscle and soleus vein we found it in this is compartment deep to the muscular fascia 
This is short saphenous vein, which is found more superficially. Short saphenous vein. This gastrocnemius muscles, or side of gastrocnemius vein. So we found from superficial short saphenous gastrocnemius muscle with gastrocnemius vein, then muscular fascia, then soleus muscle with soleus vein. This is mid upper cuff. This posterior tibial artery and the vein, where the posterior tibial artery normally seen. During transverse scanning, angulation of transduce are useful to improve their visualization. This is femoral and the popliteal veins. We found normally single, femoral vein normally singles. This is anatomic variation, partial double popliteal or femoral vein segment. This is abnormal variation. Partial duplications of popliteal and femoral vein segment sometimes seen. This is cuff vein triplications, posterior tibial artery, three veins with posterior tibial vein three, posterior tibial three veins with posterior tibial artery. This cuff vein triplication. This is power Doppler is better to demonstrate flow in case of DVT search. Laser saphenous vein and the pulpiteal vein at the phenopulpiteal junction, normally seen, color saturated. And this is posterior tibial vena comitant, paired posterior tibial vein accompanying one artery. This is no compression and the compression seen with the posterior tibial vein, paired the posterior tibial vein. Anterior tibial and the peroneal vein comitant paired. Bearing of posterior tibial vein, it is important in case of search of DVT, or sometimes one branch thrombosis and other is healthy. Cuff vein identified, cuff veins, soleal vein, following popliteal vein distally into cuff using color doppler. Once identified, check for B and C by compression. This is soleal veins, which we see him in soleus muscle deep to muscular fascia. This is soleal vein. Once I found him, I compress the oxycolodic venous thrombosis. This is gastrocnemius veins, gastrocnemius veins. This is basilic vein, superficial venous system of the upper limb, normally color saturated. This is main absence of DVT. This is examples of inferior vena cava, superficial femoral vein, and superficial and deep profunda vein with superficial femoral artery, normal appearance of veins. This is, as we took axillary superficial vein in the upper limb, this is different aspect superficial venous system. Great saphenous vein, main trunk, great saphenous vein in saphenous fascia, hypoplastic with compensatory anterior accessory veins, duplicated femoral vein, Duplicated great saphenous vein. Great saphenous vein normally appearance, eye appearance, Egyptian eye appearance. Great saphenous vein hypoplastic may be. Great saphenous vein may be duplicated. Sclerosed echogenic lines of the great saphenous vein. Left great saphenous vein, make little leg seen sclerosed. Thank you.